Critter Protectors, Mr. Jim here, and welcome to Kids Animal Stories. A place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too! Let's go! On the last episode, we met a very lonely dung beetle. A dung beetle! Do you remember what dung is? Oh, yeah. He liked to roll around in balls of... Oh! Poop! He'd always had a hard time finding friends because of the stinky things that he really liked. So Pip the Dung Beetle made the big decision to leave home in search for new friends. He traveled a long way for a beetle and came to a beautiful town right next to the Mediterranean Sea. Pip spent a long, restful night in a beautiful pile of manure and woke up the next day very rested. Oh, what a magnificent night's rest. Now to find some friends. Pip explored a bit and and found some more poop, but the ground was hmm, surprisingly quiet. He didn't see ants or other beetles or worms or much at all. That's a bit strange. Sure is quiet around these parts. But just then, he heard a sound. Mmm. Hey, uh, who goes there? What was that? As Pip looked up, he saw a ginormous animal, one he had never encountered before. Hey, hello down there, moo, said the giant. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. Pip was a little confused and also happened to be shaking in fear because of this ginormous animal, but he tried to respond and said, Hi. Don't you know my name is Mabel, but you can call me May. We always have a little critters around this farm. It makes for some company, and there's always plenty of poop for you to clean up. Mabel said very friendly. Did she say company? Pip had never had someone refer to him as company, which is, it kind of means like friends, but then he realized the poop he slept in the night before must have belonged (laughs) to that humongous creature. Well, I'm glad to have company as well, Pip said. He went on to tell Mabel all about his old home and his travels. She did love the story and told him he'd better go tell the others. Pip wasn't really sure what others she was talking about but he headed closer to the barn just like Mabel said to the door as Pitt got to the barn door he noticed some very round different looking poop then he heard a loud nay Ah! Pip shouted he wasn't used to so many loud different sounds he looked up and saw a huge brown horse well, <laughs> hi there, it's oh, nice to see a friendly face on such a bright morning, the horse said. Friendly face? Was this horse even talking to him? That's the nicest thing he's ever heard. <laughs> Say the names, Hal. You look like a newbie around here, Hal said. Um, yes, my name's Pip, I just met Mabel in the field, and she sent me in here, I think, to meet you, Pip said, and then continued on with his story of adventure. Hal loved listening and and told Pip he'd better go tell Lenny. Pip didn't have any clue who Lenny was, but he headed through the barn and noticed quite quickly how the poops began to change the further he went in into now tiny, small balls of poop. <laughs> Who goes there? <laughs> Not again! Oh, 
Pip said in shock. Is that you, Hal? Are you playing tricks on me again? Lenny said. No, no, it's it's me down here. My my name's Pip. Huh? Where are you at? I, I can't... Oh, wait. Yep, 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 yeah, I see you there. Lenny brought his head down close to Pip and showed his scruffy beard and horns. Lenny was actually a goat. Lenny's your name, right? Pip asked. He then explained how he had met Mabel and then Hal, and he told Lenny the story. And Lenny laughed about how startled Pip had been at all of them. He loved listening to Pip and told him he better go meet the others. Pip expected to go meet yet another loud and huge farm animal, but but he soon realized this next stop was something different. Pip trekked to cross the barn stalls towards a pile of hay in the back. He noticed there was a lot of poop of all kinds. And then just ahead, he saw three other beetles, just like him. They were rolling poop. Hi there, Pip said shyly. Oh my, could it really be? One beetle said. It's about time we had a new member, another one said. Pip soon realized the three beetles were just some of the dung beetles that lived on the farm. They called themselves the Farm Fresh Dung Brigade. And they were always looking for new beetles to join. Wow. Pip could never have imagined a better outcome to search for new friends. He realized that there wasn't anything wrong with him or too stinky about him. He just needed to find the right critters to call friends. Wow, I'm so happy for Pip that he found people that loves him for who he is and that they don't mind that stinky smell. In fact, it sounds like those new friends in him are going to be some pretty great poop rollers. And the barn sounds like a perfect place for poop rollers to hang out because there's so many different kinds and shapes of poop in a barn. The end. We'll be right back after a brief word from our sponsor. Great job. You listened all the way to the end and it's time for some Critter Protector shout outs. I want to say hey to Eric from Cyprus. Brady from Juniper, Florida. Rowan and Charlotte from Massachusetts. Stinky and Tootsie from Georgia. Hey, Stinky and Tootsie. And Elliot from Michigan. I'm so glad that you're all critter protectors. We could not protect all the critters in the world without you, my friends. Well, you all have a super duper day, and I'll see you on our next adventure. Bye!